We're here in Monte Carlo for the Rendezvous de Septembre. For AM Best TV, I'm Richard Banks. And I'm joined now by Jerome Hagley, Group Chief Economist for Swiss Re. AM Best has a positive outlook for the reinsurance industry. What's your assessment of the conditions that the market's facing? On the, on the opportunities, I think there are plenty of opportunities. Opportunity as a risk offshore and acting as a risk offshore. Opportunities in terms of renewable energy, think about net zero adjustment. I still think it's the biggest financial market transformation out there and the insurance, reinsurance sector plays a key role. And then there's also opportunity with technology to move forward. In terms of challenges, challenges I would mention social inflation, which is going a different direction than economic inflation, as well as the catatos trends, NATCAT trends that also remain with us. So you mentioned social inflation. I know that, that Sigma has just published a, a report on social inflation. Tell me about some of the, the findings there. No, absolutely. On the social inflation front, what we did with our Sigma, which we published here in Monte Carlo, is we gave a figure, we quantified the excess economic inflation and uh, across time. And so we have a history, we can compare it. It's an index and also across countries. And that helps us, as well as the industry, do really well monitor and analyze situations. On top of that, we looked at the drivers. What are the drivers of social inflation? And it's pretty clear that legal systems, as well as litigation efforts or changes and litigation funding are drivers uh, which actually increase quite a lot, if not the main driver for, uh, for the litigation costs rising to the casualty uh, losses and claims that we are seeing. And what implications does, does your findings have for the, for the reinsurance industry generally? Well, I think it, it's number one, be alert. And number two, be even more alert because uh, social inflation index in the US, for example, and it's still the US is still the epicenter of the social inflation, it is at 7%. And if you compare that number, 7%, uh, relative to the last 10 years, you see actually has doubled. So be alert because social inflation is not going away. While uh, economic inflation is coming down, social inflation is going the other way. And that means be disciplined in terms of uh, the underwriting uh, practices that you do. Can I pick your brains as an economist for a second? Uh, we haven't seen the, the usual number of startups that we might expect in a, in a hard, market, uh, hard market cycle. Uh, why do you think that is, and what are the longer-term implications? I think there are many reasons there of why we don't see the startup activity that we had seen pre-COVID. But I think foremost it is because the environment is just different. The yield environment is different. We don't have a negative or zero-rate environment anymore. There are other, maybe more attractive investment opportunities, which leads to less startup activity. And then on top of that, I would also probably mention the cat bond activity, the VC activity, uh, and I think all these factors in together probably lead to a more muted startup activity pre relative to pre-COVID. So you talk about the, the market conditions there. How, how sustainable are the, the conditions that we are seeing at the moment, do you think? I, I think the market momentum, so the rate halting that we had seen, it has probably peaked, but uh, the next leg doesn't mean softening. I think the momentum has further legs uh, to go. Why, why do I say that? First of all, the sustainability of, uh, of profits and earnings. There are still question marks there. Second, if you look at uh, return of equity and cost of capital, yes, if you look at primary insurance industry, they are now more in balance. But they are in balance now for the first time for for the first time since a very, very long time. I think all these factors on top of the um, uncertainty for social inflation, catastrophe trends, as well as geopolitics, will continue to keep a lot of demand uh, for insurance market capacity, and that helps, um, that helps pricing. So we talked about social inflation, and you, you referred to the, the new Sigma report. What's your outlook for economic inflation? Well, on economic inflation, I think the good news is the 2%, magic 2%, the target, central bank target, is within reach. I expect the 2% target to be met this year um, in Europe and probably sometime in the first half of next year. So that's the good news. Price stability is within reach. Jerome, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you so much. For AMBS TV, I'm Richard Banks.